All right, what's going on guys? So today's the first episode of our mini garden series. We're here in Ocean City, New Jersey, and we're setting up a garden for a friend Mike we saw in the banana video, who will be here shortly. So guys, as you can see, the beach and the ocean's right over there, so we're working with some sand. So we're gonna have to try to amend some of the soil around here, but it'll be fun. We got the potting mix over there. Uh, we already potted up some basil. Jason, can come over here. Pot up some of the basil already. We got going on, so that's easy steps on the pots. And then if you want to show you what we're growing for him, he wanted to do some uh, tomatoes. Got some starter plants here. Some small tomatoes down here. Um, we're doing some raspberries over here. We're gonna plant on the ground some blueberries, a new variety of blueberry called peach sorbet blueberry. We're gonna try that thing out. And then we have a, um, the tangerine dream pepper. And he's gonna be doing a flat of herbs. And you know, some of the basil sprouting and everything else is grown. So we'll come back to you once we get Michael and show you the planting. Guys, so here's Michael. Michael, say hi. This is Michael, this is where we're doing his garden. Michael Mahan. Um, Michael Canal. So, okay guys, so this is the before of what it's going to look like. We got the blueberry plant, the raspberry here, and the tomatoes. We're gonna come back and do this, and once we're done, we will show you the progress and it after. So we're getting the first hole filled in here. We can come down over here, and you can see how deep we have to build. We're building a lot of sand, so we gotta amend the soil with some potting mix. I'm just showing you guys step by step. We made the hole a little bigger and deeper than this is gonna be, because this is the way to sink in there. It, um, and we'll come back once we get this potted up and once we get this in the ground. But uh, just a quick update. So we got one down here. We got one down going good. Looks really nice. We got a little rock circle, a little dirt. The blueberry bush is planted. So, Michael, just a question for the viewers. What was one of the things that made you want to start a garden? Uh, what what urged you to? I guess just the fact that like I was very interested in like growing my own produce and uh, being able to eat this that like uh, fresh fruit mm -hmm. that like can really uh it's more healthy i feel like yeah and um I, it's just very rewarding to be it able is, to is. get your uh, own food it is um and it's a good thing is you don't have to any worry about any pesticides or anything processed which is good so yeah i mean we, we're one down we still got to do the raspberry some of these tomatoes over here but it's it's coming along good guys again setting up gardens are very easy you can make them look really pretty you can really change the landscape make them more green you can really do a lot of cool things with edible landscaping so i really encourage you guys to try to do that because you can bring you can beautify your yard while also producing food so we're gonna hop into this raspberry and some of the tomatoes and we'll go back raspberry bush planted so as again we can see with the aesthetics we put the little circle of rocks with the dirt and it's looking good michael anything uh you want to say about the process so far with your garden? Uh, I have to say something. I don't have anything to say. I just want to say Nick did all of that. I did do a lot of the job. Mike, Michael's, Mike Michael's learning. He's a, he's a novice. He's a novice. I'm a novice. Take some time. But yeah, again, we're making our way down here. Really does help the landscape of the, of the, um, of the, but yeah, guys. So now we're heading on to the tomatoes and we're going to be done pretty much a small beginning steps of this garden. It's not really a garden per se, but it's kind of like an edible little, um, just landscape so we'll move on all right and guys so it's it's official complete we have finished the garden for michael we're gonna add um two more pepper plants which is just our local lows is too far away so we're gonna add another pepper plant right where my foot is and then another one back here so we'll have three pepper plants just to help kind of kind of add some um diversity to an abstract to the um, landscape to have some three line here. But we got the nice blueberry, the beautiful blueberry bush here. The um, tangerine dream snacking pepper, some raspberries here. Let me come over here to our little tomato bed. They are close, um, they are placed close together. I know you guys might say, oh, why are your tomatoes so close? But it's high density gardening. If you watch at my gardener channel, he does a great job explaining how this works. You just grow them together as one and they will produce as four. It's a really cool way to grow tomatoes. And down on the shore, there's not as um, much light, you know, really, grow them like this so yeah that's the end of our first mini garden series we have again all of our plants put in into the rocks over here we have our basil and some of the herbs and some more herbs over there and yeah he's living it michael anything last words to say about uh the garden or what you're excited for um not much just if you're interested in getting a garden i think you should do it because You'll be able to get uh, Michael did do no work in this video. I didn't um, do no work. But he's going to have to water it when I'm not here because the planting was tough. But yeah, guys, it's a good way to get in touch with nature, get outside, get some fresh air, get some sunlight, vitamin D, and also eat really good food. I love vitamin D. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you all in the next Subscribe. episode. Subscribe.